Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Your friends that are close in your circle are a photograph of your future. Your friends are a photograph of your future. The Bible puts it like this in Proverbs 11, where there is no counsel, the work falls. But in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. There's safety in getting wise people and wise voices inside your circle. When we make good decisions, we make them according to people who are advising us and that we're listening to. Proverbs 24 and 6 said, For by wise counsel we go, or we make war. The, but in the multitude of counsel, again he says it, there is safety. In other words, don't ever go to battle without wise voices speaking into your life. Don't ever just tear your life up and go to war, so to speak, without listening to some people who have wisdom and the very Word of God and Spirit of God in your life. Don't go into battle. The Bible said in Proverbs 9 and verse 10, if you rebuke a wise man, he will love you for it. And then he goes on to say, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And so you need these people in your life. Everybody needs people in their inner circle who can influence you with their voice to make the right choices. And when you remove God's voice, you start hearing other voices. First Samuel chapter seven in verse three, it said that as long as Samuel was there by Saul's side, that his words kept the enemy at bay. Wow, how important is it to have some elders, some people who have lived the walk, some elders may be your mother and your father or your grandparents, and they may get on your nerves because they keep you after spiritual things, and you, ought to, you just want to hear the good things, but you don't always need everybody in your inner circle that tells you what you want to hear. You need some people who tell you what you need to hear, and they don't care whether you want to hear it or not. You're wise if you do that. Right voices, right choices.